If you would like to get this month's crystal reading for your sign for download and purchase, please click on the Vimeo link below this video in the show more section or visit my website, theluckymermaid.com, and the links for these videos are posted on the most recent video page. Please be sure to check out my other psychic readings for each zodiac sign I have available there as well. Thank you so much. Wish you many blessings and peace. Hi all the signs of the zodiac, I'm Pam and welcome to your psychic crystal reading for the full moon in Pisces, September 6, 2017. Today I'm going to look into each of the four elements in my crystal and give you psychic messages from my spirit guides about what you can expect to experience and what effects you may have from this full moon in Pisces. I'm going to look into the elements of Earth, which are Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgos, Water, which is Pisces, Cancers, and Scorpios, Fire, which is Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, and Air, which is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. So the first group of signs I'm going to look into, the element will be Earth, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. You may kind of get the feeling like you're wondering what's going on. Maybe you feel like you've lost something. It could be an object. It could be uh, lost, you know, I don't know, a feeling even, uh, or lost something that's, you could have either lost something tangible or not, not tangible. I, I feel like some of you earth signs are going to want more clarity about something. Like you want something to be made clear to you. This could be in written documentation or a, from a spouse, a loved one, uh, or a boss. Like you want something that's unclear to you to be made clear. You, Some of you may be trying to get away with something that you don't want um other people to know about or don't want someone to know about like a secret because I feel like some of you feel like something is like out of place for you I, I don't know it's a little confusing but I feel you don't want somebody to know something you want to keep something quiet or something secret or hidden this could be like maybe you're getting your child a birthday gift and you don't want them to know what it is or maybe you made a big purchase and you don't want your significant other to know how much money you just spent on a pair of really expensive shoes or you know Perhaps you've met somebody and you're not really satisfied with your partner that you're with now or somebody you're dating and you don't want to let on that, hey, I met somebody else and now I'm interested in somebody else. It's going to be different for all of you how, what this is. I feel like some of you earth signs are also trying very hard to get something passed through. Like you want some kind of permission in some way. Like something you're working on or like maybe you need a, a permit or a permission to build or to expand your house or you need permission maybe uh, to buy something or to build something or to expand something. Uh, I don't know but it's like I don't know permission could mean so many things but I see some of you it could even be like an job or business situation where there's something that you want your boss to sign off on and say you know what I give you earth sign I give you that permission to do that something you're asking them to do or asking for I see some of you earth signs having like a, a need in you that's getting driven up where you may feel like you want more attention or you want more affection um, like I, I don't like neediness sounds bad 
a, it makes it sound negative, but it, it's not, you know, we're all human, right? So it's not wrong to need or feel like you need more attention and affection. So I see that getting driven up in some of you earth signs by this full moon in Pisces. I see some of you earth signs challenging people to do the right thing. So it could be your kids. It could be a spouse or a significant other. It could be coworkers, uh, or it could even be in a government or more public sense, like a group of people. Maybe you're going to challenge a group to do the right thing or a company to do the right thing. But I see some of you challenging in some way to do the right thing someone or a group of people I also feel some of you earth signs may inadvertently be creating some kind of drama for other people or for someone so you might want to think about that you might not feel like you're doing that or you might think I don't know what she's talking about but it's coming up here in the crystal so now I'm going to look into the elements of water and uh, those signs would be Pisces, Cancers and Scorpios I see some of you water signs wanting more terms and conditions spelled out in writing. Like you want some things confirmed. Uh, you don't want there to be any misunderstandings or anything dangling or unclear. Some of you may feel like you can't complete anything. Like this full moon may make you feel scattered like you're doing one thing and then you have to do another thing and then you stop that project and you're doing something else and the seven of cups card is coming into my mind which is scattered energy scattered thinking scattered emotions I'm seeing the seven of cups in my head while I'm hearing this message so I feel like you may have this sensation some of you water signs from this effect of the uh, full moon in Pisces that you can't complete like you, you can't complete anything. I see some of you water signs looking like you want to be heard and you want your word out there. Whatever your word is, like maybe it's a personal belief, a religious belief, a spiritual belief, um, an indignation over something happening in the world or in the government or uh, in some ways because I, I get some of you really feel like you want to be heard it could be by your boss maybe you want your boss to hear what you have to say or you want your significant other to hear what you have to say but there's a longing to want to be heard for some of you water signs with this full moon I also see it driving up for some of the water signs that you want to be really really careful about not stepping on anyone's toes so I see for some reason for some of you water signs you're gonna feel like you're tiptoeing or I'm seeing somebody tiptoe around on eggshells like I don't want to ruffle anybody's feathers I don't want to upset anybody I don't want to get you know anybody's dander up and have them go off and be upset like I see you really really careful being really careful not to stir things up with this full moon. I also see some of you water signs being very skeptical from this full moon where you are not totally believing of some things that come by your plate like in front of you um, or you know your uh, t desk, your computer screen, your knowledge of somebody telling you something. I see you being very skeptical so if something's going on with this full moon in Pisces that's somehow driving up your skepticism about something you're seeing or being presented with or you have to look at or deal with. And these effects can last until the next full moon for 30 days or they could last until the new moon that happens later on in September. So I give this a two week to four week uh, period of time where you could be experiencing these effects. Some of you may feel also too like you want to retreat from something where you don't want to do something or you want to kind of keep hidden or you want to like 
I feel like you having an aversion to what to something that comes up that you don't want to do and kind of retreat or retreat from a situation that you don't like that boils up either one way or another uh, retreating from something comes up so now I'm going to look into the element of fire and the fire signs are Leo Aries and Sagittarius I feel like you're going to feel quite energized and full of a lot of vim and vigor like you like it's going to give you uh, like a boost which kind of surprises me because I was not expecting them to say that uh, I thought maybe it would water it down but for you for some reason you're getting like this uh, energy igniting in you I will say some of you fire signs are going to feel like your tolerance level has hit its ceiling so there could be someone in your life that's like annoyed you to the point where like okay now my tolerance for you and your nonsense has hit its limit uh, or a situation could be a work situation or like uh, a family situation where you feel like you know what that this is now I've now hit my limit um, of tolerance some of you fire signs may feel like you have burned some bridges in the past that maybe you wished you hadn't um, and you may want to do some damage control like where you are trying to rebuild those bridges or rebuild those connections um, if you had any falling out with friends or family members or maybe some things didn't go right at work and some bridges got burned or maybe you left somewhere and it didn't go well when you left and people were miffed at you and you may want to go back and try to you know make amends that's possible um, or if you burnt bridges with someone like you were in a relationship maybe you burnt bridges with somebody there and you want to be friends with them again or you want to be romantically involved with them again you may be trying to mend fences and uh, <clears throat> mend those burnt bridges uh, for some of you fire signs I also see this new moon I mean sorry full moon getting you involved some of the fire signs are going to get involved in a new direction like where it could be a career change or it could be uh, a new direction about something you want to do in a personal sense like classes you want to take or um, I don't know like new courses of study new career new class you want to take but uh, some of you it's going to give you like this feeling of wanting to go in a new direction if anybody tries to feed you a line of BS you are going to be able to read it a million miles away so you may have somebody it's coming up here so there may be somebody that's telling you something in the course of the next two weeks to four week period where you're going to be like do 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 your BS meter is going to be going off and you're going to be like yeah that's not true so you know be on the watch for that I feel like your intuition and your sense of being able to read other people is going to be heightened from this full moon in Pisces you also might get a little bit peeved with people that have done you wrong in the past and you may want to as much as I see some of you want to write some wrongs and patch things up or try to you know uh, smooth over any repair burnt bridges some of you I pick up kind of the opposite where if you feel like somebody's done you wrong I feel like you may actually jump up and be more like what did you do that for I'm standing up for myself and why are you saying or doing that to me or why did you do that like you may have that reaction some of you fire signs now I'm going to look into the element of air this will be Aquarius Gemini and Libra some of you are going to feel like you want to get out there and mingle it's going to give you some kind of desire to interact with your fellow man or to meet new people or to be more social I also feel that some of the air signs are going to feel like uh, I see you saying I need more time to evaluate something so something's going to come up for some of the air signs in 
uh, the course of the next two weeks to 30 days from the full moon in Pisces where you're going to have to like maybe not want to make a decision about it or you have to consider something but you need more time to do it to evaluate it I see some of you communicating with new people and these new people that you're going to communicate with are going to change either your thinking or they're going to be a catalyst to change a direction that you're in or something that you're doing so they're a catalyst for changing your thinking or changing something you're going to do but it comes through somebody new a new person this could be you know a real estate agent a lawyer it could be a new person you meet at a class or a group it could be a new friend it could be uh, somebody that you are smitten with and you feel like you're falling in love with them it doesn't matter who but somehow their communication with you is changing something for you it may not change in the in 30 days but it may start the process in that time period two weeks to 30 days I actually feel some of you air signs are going to feel better about yourself either like this moon in Pisces full moon in Pisces is going to make you feel like you like the way you look like you feel like you're looking better and feeling better one or the other or both because I get you feeling like you look better or feeling like you feel better there's some improvement here for you in that regard I also feel that some of the air signs are going to get their impulsive sides or impulsive natures watered down or tempered down so where you may be where somebody that was like quick to act or quick to say something or quick to bet on something or quick to buy something it's going to water that down you're not going to feel as impulsive as sometimes you might like if impulsivity is a normal thing for you I feel like this Pisces moon is is uh, putting a damper on it for some of you air signs some of you that do anything for a sideline or hobby um, you may start charging for it uh, it or maybe you did some kind of product or service that you would give to people and you kept giving it away for free um, I see you now thinking I have to start charging for this I can't keep doing it for free anymore so let's say if you were an astrologer and you were doing astrology charts for people and you kept doing it for free you're going to come to the conclusion like I can't keep giving this away for free or if you were always there you know giving people things or but it would be something that you know how to do something where you have some kind of knowledge expertise or know-how and maybe you just feel like people have taken advantage of you too much in that regard you may start charging people for services that you've been giving away for free that comes up for some of you air signs so I hope this reading was of help to you I hope it made sense I want to thank you so much for watching sharing and liking my videos thank you for subscribing and for Google Plusing I do appreciate that and please subscribe that way you'll get notified when I upload my videos to YouTube and I just wanted to say here if you're interested in getting a psychic crystal reading for your specific sign where I look into my crystal and I get messages and predictions for you for this month of September 2017 you can access those videos for download and purchase by clicking on the link below this video in the show more section and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for September 2017 psychic crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac you can also access these videos by going to my website www.theluckymermaid.com click on the videos tab on my menu it's a drop down menu go to page 11 and there you will see the heading for September 2017 
psychic crystal readings you click on your sign and it will take you to that video on Vimeo also if you're interested in getting my August 2017 Eclipse effects psychic readings for each sign of the zodiac where I used three tarot cards from the Hanson Roberts tarot deck and also looked into my crystal for each sign of the zodiac to see what predictions and messages and how these eclipses were going to affect each of the signs out there you can access those videos on the same drop down menu on my website page 11 you click on your sign and it will take you to those videos on Vimeo hey don't forget to watch the psychic pastry chef if you want to see what Virgo got as their dessert for the month of September where I show you how to bake it put it together bake it and decorate it and I'm going to give you psychic messages for all the zodiac signs even though it's Virgo's month and it's Virgo's dessert you all will get a prediction in the probably about two predictions per video and you'll get a recipe you'll see how to decorate the dessert and hopefully you'll try to make it at home you can see those videos at the first of every month on my channel here on YouTube Pamela Georgiou and look for the psychic pastry chef presents and this month it's Virgo for September so please check that out you can also see my daily pretty much daily predictions for the psychic pastry chef on my Facebook business page the psychic pastry chef LLC and also see what's happening on my website what's cooking over there at the psychic pastry chef uh, I'm sorry www.thepsychicpastrychef.com so I hope you have great benefits and happiness and peace from the effects of this full moon in Pisces and know that I wish you many blessings and peace Please check out my other videos that I'm posting to my YouTube channel, The Psychic Pastry Chef, where I'll show you how to make great cakes, desserts, and pastries you can make at home, and I'll give you psychic predictions for each sign of the zodiac throughout the video. I hope you enjoy them, and please be sure to check out the other special videos I'm recording for my Psychic Pastry Chef Vimeo On Demand channel. Thanks for watching.